This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. Hello and welcome back to my new video. So today I welcome you all to another part of our course which is JavaScript for beginners. So as in previous video you must have an idea of what JavaScript is and also you get to know about how and where we use it. So today we are going to see how we can create variables and what are the rules for writing a variable name. So without further delay let's start today's video. So let's start with creating our first variable. So let's open code pen for this and okay so so let's first for first num is equal to one so let's understand what does this statement means so here first num is our variable name and we have an javascript keyword var, var for creating our variable and I have assigned a value to my variable that is first num is equal to 1 and also use the equal sign as an operator to assign the value so let's print the variable so for that wait sorry first num is equal to 1 and for printing the value we'll use console.log and then pass the value of first num to it and so what console.log does is it prints the value in the console so as we have passed the value of first num so it is printing 1 mm, it's creating a little bit mess so let's clear these first and then print the value so for that we will use console dot clear and so what this console dot clear will do is it will whenever our code runs it will first clear the console and then run the remaining code so now as it's looking better so let's create another variable so for that we'll use uh, var second num is equal to 15 and for printing this we will again use console.log that is second num and then print uh, sorry second num I think it yeah okay so as it's printed so it's what you taught us in the last video so what is the difference between this video and the last video yes I know you all will be thinking this but you must not have noticed one thing okay let's see if you have noticed it pause the video and see the names for our variable did you see something like a pattern in the name of a variable you must got an idea that the variable says first num here consists of two variables sorry names first and num also you have seen that first alphabet of second word is capital this is known as camel case so there are various ways to write variable names so let's see them first one is camel case 
let's see camel case so in this the all the letters are small except the first word of second alphabet sorry the first alphabet of second word sorry i just uh, what we say that i just forgot or so <coughs> you can also say that in camel case the first letter of each word is capital except the first word now let's move to the second one which is pascal case so it's a naming convention in which the first letter of each word is capital also called as upper camel case now next one is snake case here all the letters are small but separated with underscore in our course we will be using camel case for writing our variables so there are certain rules for naming a variable first one is names can contain letters digits underscores and dollar signs the next rule is that name cannot begin with a digit and the third and also the most important is the name are case sensitive all of these are important but you should consider this one because like as you must have used linux while creating a directory you as you name two directories with same name like first one as youtube and the second one also as youtube but in first you make first letter as capital and in second it's all small letters so they'll be considered as two different directory so same in javascript variable x is different from an capital x and the last is name can also start from dollar sign doll or underscore at last i want to add something that if you don't want to declare a name with var you can also use let or const so that is it for today guys let's meet in another video i hope you are understanding the course as it's for beginners and i'm trying to use simple language so that everyone can understand so if you like the video please leave a like below and comment down if you are understanding the course as it gives motivation to me for making more cool videos for more videos like this please subscribe to my channel so let's meet in another video till then bye